Hello guys, I'm Saramo the Bears and I'm back in my education facility or in my base. So I'm going to my classroom and we will start in a minute. Nobody knows my code so the students should arrive in few minutes. So I will scan my eyes so the computer recognizes me, okay so it's me. So the company will pay me for the education. And I'm in my classroom. What the f is this? Like, when I left my classroom, the classroom was completely empty. I told the students like to put the stuff back to the locker, so I'll be back when I clean this mess. Hello guys, I am Saddam the Bears and I am back after cleaning the mess after my students. So today we will try to learn how to display the capacity of the batteries on one display. I mean like the average percentage. So let's get started. I will rename all the devices we will use so it will be easier to understand. So this will be the battery one. And battery two. This will be LED one, LED two and LED three. Next step, we will use one logic read, one logic write and one math for this circuit and next logic reader and no logic writer for this circuit and this math unit will do the trick. This will be the color change for LED displays. And this will be the memory for the number of the battery. So we have two batteries here. So we will program this memory to number two. And this memory number one. So I will rename the rest. Now the bath units. So one more. And that's it for now. So we don't have everything, but we will add it later. So let's program this circuit. So this logic reader will read as an input the battery 1. And the variable will be ratio. And this logic writer will write this ratio into LED1. So the input 
will be logic reader number one. The output will be LED one. And the variable will be settings. And we do exactly the same thing for the LED2. So logic reader input will be battery number 2. Variable will be ratio. And this logic writer will write the data to LED number 2. So the input will be logic reader number 2. The output will be LED number 2. And the variable will be settings. Now we will use this math unit, which is counter. It will count logic reader number 1 plus logic reader number 2. And the function will be add. So now, next step, this math unit is a divider, so we will use it for calculation. This math unit divided by this memory, which is 2, because we have two batteries. Let's do it. So the input will be the counter. And input number 2 will be memory bad number. So, now we want to have some colors on our LED displays. So the input will be memory number 1. The output will be LED displays. And the variable will be color. If I did it right, we should get some data. If we will get some juice from this transformer. So now we can see some data, but we need to add more things. We will add one batch writer. Because we want our LED displays to display the percentage. The next thing will be memory. We will set this memory to number 1. So now we will program this batch writer. So the input will be this memory. The 
output will be LED displays. and the variable will be mode. Now we can see the percentage. But we are not finished yet. Now we need one more logic writer. Because we want to display this data from divider into LED number 3. Let's program it. So the input will be this divider, which has function divide, like the counter, this, divide by the number of batteries. The output will be LED3 and the variable will be settings. Now we can see the average charge of our batteries is 3% because we have 6% of charge here and no charge here. Let's do some magic and we will see what will happen. So we can see the batteries are charging and this is the average of charge in our batteries or the total of charge in our power grid and our power grid has only two large batteries if we want to change the color of LED displays we can do it here Let's improve our circuit with something funny. We will use a dial to change the colors of our LEDs. Let's say we will set this dial to number 10. So this batch writer, which is basically the color changer, will have input this dial. And the output is still same. LED displays and the variable is color. So now we can play with the dial. If you want to charge your batteries really really crazy fast, 
you can do it with a gas generator. I will use the welder fuel, which is basically one part of oxygen and two parts of hydrogen. The gas generator has one input and one output as an exhaust. So let's try it. One kPa of fuel makes 38.3 kilowatts of power. So now we are charging our batteries really really fast. And of course, the gas generator makes a lot of power and heat. Nutrition low. So our power grid is charged to 93%. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe for more. Bye bye.